Welcome to video 195 in series 3, and now I'll edit the item make noise script. Okay, so a lot like the uh, destructible cause distraction, this item make noise, we manually set the NPC layer for it to distract. Uh, so now I'm going to actually have that automated, and uh, well, it's pretty simple. So let's get into it, open the item make noise script. First off, I'll just add the new variables, public string, player tag is equal to player, private game manager, NPC relations master, NPC relations master. I had previously uh, removed the set initial references method, so I'll bring it back. So void set initial references if game object dot find game manager dot get component game manager NPC relations master is not equal to null, then NPC relations master is equal to game object dot find game manager dot get component game manager NPC relations master. If player tag is uh, empty, then player tag is equal to player. Okay, next is the uh, update layers method. So void update layers to distract. If NPC relations master is null, then return. For each NPC relations array, NPC array and NPC relations master dot NPC relations array. If NPC array dot NPC faction is the player tag, then applicable NPC layer is equal to NPC array dot my enemy layers break. Okay, so that'll set the layers. Okay, this time around, I'm going to use an invoke. So void call update layers, invoke, and use that same name, update layers to distract, comma, 0.1f seconds. Now, I probably should have done this with the previous script as well, because when the game starts immediately, uh, this sort of information might not be fully set up and uh, the object won't get the information it needs. It'll take uh, a little while. So when uh, when finally some bullets fire off and stuff like that, then uh, this information will get updated on destructible. It's not a big deal since it's uh, not a, such an important item, but still, I probably should have used invoke on the destructible cause distraction script. Anyway, I'm sure you can do that uh, improvement on your own. Okay, so not finished yet. Now up here, I would like to, at the top above on collision enter, I'll put in void on enable and void on disable. So in on enable, call set initial references, call update layers, which is that invoke method. If NPC relations master is not equal to null, then we subscribe to the event. NPC relations master dot event update NPC relations everywhere plus equal call update layers. In on disable, just have the corresponding unsubscribe. So if NPC relations master is not equal to null, NPC relations master dot event update NPC relations everywhere minus equal call update layers. Okay, so that is it for the script. Uh, so let's just jump back into Unity. See that works. So come down here. It'll just take a moment to update. All right, jump in. Okay. Let's give it a moment. There we go. So Evil Max is now assigned to the throwing block. So that's excellent. That is uh, basically everything uh, for this extension to chapter 9. Now we've got the uh, behavior going for dynamic factions. That's the basics all nicely implemented. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. And now you've got um, some pretty good uh, bit of uh, AI stuff there, which is pretty cool. And uh, all right. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the future.